All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are gonna be showcasing the new Fizz LR Boo Tanks that transforms into Buhan at uh, essentially his most optimal state, 100% in the hidden potential system, full level 10 max link slots, or sorry, link skills, and also full crit skill orbs, giving him up to 27 critical man that is a 54 percent chance to perform a critical on every single attack that that's insane to me that is crazy so um yeah let's jump into it here we are running a modern power slash power absorption team essentially under his own leader skill and he's giving key plus four uh hp plus 130 percent attack and defense plus 170 percent so uh let's see what's going on here so on this first rotation we got the support from the fizz kid boo and he has 220,000 defense, guys. 220,000 on the first turn, man. I mean, of course, it's because of big bad bosses, because of support, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, that's what you can expect from a maxed out Wu Tanks right there. All right, 220k. And if we give him these orbs, that should be a full 24k super, because he gets an additional key for every type key sphere, just like the uh, STR LR Vegito, by the way, if you guys want to see the showcase for him as well, uh, it's already up on the channel, so feel free to go check that out through the link above my head. But uh, yeah, let's do this, guys. Okay, I don't care what anybody else does. I'm here for the Boo Tanks slash Buhan once we get the transformation. So let's just give these guys some orbs. Doesn't really matter too much. Yo, thank God for the uh, Majin Link too, because without that, a lot of these guys would have key issues. But with it now, not so much key issues. Okay, so uh, first attack up to, what was that, 5 million? I mean, I, I know I'm talking about it super casually. It's not casual. It's really crazy. But uh, at this point, man, after showcasing the LR Super Vegito like an hour ago, um, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm like immune to like those kinds of numbers, but it's, it doesn't seem like as crazy to me. But it, it is definitely crazy. It is definitely crazy. I think just recently with all the you know, ridiculous, ridiculous, like, numbers we've been putting up with, like, these new units. Uh, I've been getting a little bit spoiled. I think people in general, like, Dokkan players in general, are getting a little bit spoiled. And uh, it's not going to stop here, guys. The power creep is just going to keep going. All right, it's just going to get more and more insane. I mean, just look at the Tech Ultimate Gohan, right? The Tech Ultimate Gohan, I would honestly say, is top three or top five in the game, even including LRs. And uh, these two guys, the new Buhan, or Boo Tanks, and also the Goku and Vegeta, or Vegito, um, are also probably somewhere in the top five. Like, <laughs> I couldn't even, okay, just think about it this way, right? A year ago, we couldn't even imagine units like this, right? Like, we really couldn't. Or maybe a year and a half, I don't know, it's like some, some period of time ago, like, the, the power creep recently has just been out of control. So imagine what units are going to look like in a year from now. Imagine the next worldwide campaign, the next anniversary. How stupid busted are those units going to be? Probably we're going to be looking at like 10 million attack stat on the regular. I don't know. I'm just I'm just guessing. But that's what it feels like we're, we're getting, we're moving towards, right? Okay, so now we got the 50% support from the uh, Boo here. And... Damn, we're up to 286,000 defense. 286,000. So this dude is a wall now. Like, he's literally not taking any damage. Let's give him whatever. Let's give him these, I guess. That's a full 24 right there. And so we'll give some nice orbs to the Int Buhan as well. Show him a little bit of respect because he's the OG, of course. And uh, some orbs for him. And... Okay, 5 million again this time. 5 million again this time. But last turn we got... Actually, no, yeah, last time we got the Kid Boo, so it should be the same support, actually, for attack. Okay, there's the additional attack. He has a medium chance to perform an additional super uh, from his passive, just like the Vegito. They actually work very similar pre-transformation. Um, it's post-transformation where there's a few differences, but uh, we'll get to that once we actually, you know, can get the transformation, which I think we can on this turn, right? There we go. Okay, okay, so what I would normally do in this situation is actually turn up the uh, volume so you guys can hear the audio or the, the voice line for the active skill. But for some reason right now, I'm going through some technical difficulties and I can't actually get the audio to come through for the gameplay. I'm not really sure why, so that's my bad guys, but enjoy the animation nonetheless. Let's pop this. Boom, here we go. Transforming into Buhan right now. Now for longer events, actually, um, I would recommend to actually keep him untransformed for a little while because he stacks attack and defense. 
Uh, actually, he attacks, stacks attack on the 12 key and defense on the 18 key as boot tanks, right? And he doesn't stack when you transform. So obviously for these longer events, I mean, you want to keep stacking that attack and defense if you if you can. But as you can see, man, we, we didn't like really stack for more than one turn, like, literally one turn, right? We had we had an 18 key super last turn and uh, he's currently at 380, uh, 356,000 defense. So even if you don't stack and you just like pop the active skill as soon as you can, it's still not really an issue. Your defense is still going to be just fine for the most part. But um, if you want to like, you know, get as much damage out of him as possible, you know, as much um, attack out of him as possible, then obviously you, you would want to like stack for a little while. That's just my recommendation. Totally up to you guys. As you can see, like I said, not an issue even without the extra stacking of attack and defense as boot tanks. Um, damn. Okay, so when we put him in the middle, link with both boos, 428,000 defense. 428,000 defense. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, we're not showcasing this guy, the boo Piccolo Absorb, but uh, just know that he is also insane. Just like the uh, new Tien, both these new side units are fantastic if you guys pulled them didn't pull the main unit obviously it still sucks but don't be that disappointed because you still have amazing units on your hands okay so we're taking a super here and it's gonna do 66k that's not bad at all right and the boot yeah look at that 2.28 mil from the new boot Icolo, boot piccolo absorbed whatever you want to call him and <laughs> Dude, yo, 7.4, 7.4, um, oh, one other thing I didn't actually talk about, uh, okay, so as far as the transformation conditions, I didn't talk about that either, but it's uh, basically past the fourth turn, or fourth turn and, and beyond, and 50% uh, HP or more, so his tra transformation condition is actually much better, in my opinion, and I mean, it's not even my opinion, it's just facts. It's much, much, much better than the Vegito, right? So it's, it's much easier to be above 50% HP than to be below 77% HP. But you know, the, the Vegito is still fine. It's just, I like this more. And uh, once he transforms right into Buhan, he gets 10% uh, HP recovery at the start of every turn. Attack and defense plus 100, 150% launches an additional attack. It has a medium chance of becoming a super attack and also Key plus one per key sphere obtained. Key plus five for five turns from the start of turn. Seals the enemy's attack. The attack enemies super attack for five turns once only. Now, obviously, not every single enemy can be sealed. So, you know, like on the LGE, on the later stages, not really effective because you can't seal them. But for any stage where you can seal, five turns of sealing is really going to save your life, man. For Super Battle Road, for example, Super Battle Road is going to be super clutch when you can seal an enemy for five turns. Like you can you can be safe you can, you can be sure that you you know aren't gonna take a super aren't gonna get killed by a random super um, which is which is really nice right that's gonna be really helpful so uh, I'm thinking for this for this boot tanks right now let's actually keep him untransformed for the time being let's do a little bit more stacking and uh, see how high we can get him up to okay so one is gonna be transformed one's gonna be untransformed. But as you guys saw earlier, it doesn't really matter if you don't want to stack, you know, for, for a long time. Because uh, it, when, when he's maxed out like this, even with only one turn of defense stacking, he, his defense is going to be higher than like 90% of the units in the game, right? So like it's going to be higher than 90% of the units can ever reach in this game. So uh, yeah, he's not going to be really losing out on that much, even if you transform him immediately. And of course, the damage is uh, much higher as Buhan, as you guys saw. So uh, yeah, this this is uh, uh, a crazy unit, man. I said the same thing about, about Vegito, but honestly, like if I'm being completely, completely honest, I kind of feel like Boo, I kind of feel like Buhan slash Boo Tanks uh, might, might, might actually be better than, than Vegito. I, I'm, I'm kind of leaning that way right now. And I want to hear your opinions. Like, like I said in the last video, I don't want to, you know, make snap judgments like this on my first video. So this is obviously just to give you guys an idea of like what these guys can do. But I don't want to make a snap judgment like that and be like, yo, best unit in the game. 
after my first showcase. But both these units have made very good cases for themselves. And honestly, I kind of feel like for longer events, right, with the stacking of defense and everything, um, especially especially as events get harder, like if we get like, you know, like a LGE on, on, on steroids in the future, I feel like the, the boot tanks is actually going to be better because just like of, of the stacking of attack and defense, you know, in the long run, right? But uh, once again, guys, let me know what you think. All right, I want to hear your opinions. Uh, we're up to 418,000 defense at this point after three appearances, I believe. So uh, yeah, it's going to keep going up because this guy's going to get 18 key supers every single turn. So uh, yeah, like this is not going to do much damage at all, right? Okay, we're taking a super from Super Saiyan Blue Goku, who typically hits really hard, and we're taking 10 damage. We just took 10 damage from that super. So, I mean, I think I think from a defensive and offensive perspective, if you take everything into consideration with the healing too, I kind of feel like Boot Tanks is better. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I kind of feel like Boot Tanks is better. I want to hear your opinions though, guys. Let me know in the comments. All right, what what do you think about the two? All right, after watching both videos, hopefully you've you've seen both, or maybe you've seen someone else's Vegeta showcase, and now you're watching this. Um, you know, who do you feel like has been more impressive overall? All right, so for this Buhan, currently at 305,000 defense. Keep in mind, right? He only super attacked once as uh, as Boot Tanks, and he's he's getting this much defense. So there we go. Okay, almost 24k super. And that's for the Boo Piccolo. And there we go. All right. So I feel like we can easily no item this event right now um, without, you know, like without trying too hard. But I don't know if it's really necessary, right? Like, I, I feel like honestly, you guys have seen enough at this point. We're probably going to cut off the showcase once we kill Super Saiyan Blue Goku, or maybe like do a few attacks on the uh, UI Goku stage, the STR one, but yeah, at this point, I, I don't feel like uh, there's much more to see, man. I don't think there's much more to see, like, <laughs> both those both these new units are phenomenal. Both these new units are absolutely broken, like unbelievably, un unbelievably broken, unbelievably, I can't even say that word anymore, that's just how unbelievable it is right but uh man I, i've said my piece i've said all there's to say uh my phone's about to die actually which is another reason we gotta go but yeah let's let's do like two more attacks here and then uh call it a day and uh you know let me know your opinions once again man who do you think is better do you think it's buhan do you think it's uh Petito? Or do you think they're equally good? And where do you think they rank as far as like the overall units in the game, right? Like, like you know, is it are they top five? Are they top ten? Are they the two best units in the game now? Um, you know, people are asking me like, do I think they're better than the Blue Fusions? Yeah, 100%. 100%. They're better than the Blue Fusions, man. Uh, the Blue Fusions look are still great, but they cannot reach, um, at least defensively, cannot reach heights like this. All right, and, and and to me, I'm a person that really values defense a lot, and uh, I, I would much rather use Buhan, honestly, than either of the Blue Fusions. No disrespect, I love Blue Vegito, I love Blue Gogeta, they're still amazing, but you gotta admit, their defense, um, you know, on these longer, harder events, uh, you know, it's not the most impressive, it's just good, it's fine, right? When they fully stack up, they're getting like decent defense, they're getting good defense, but not amazing defense. And uh, it does leave, you know, something to be desired, in my opinion, once again. So, yeah, I think these guys are absolutely better than the Blue Fusions. It, it's not really, like, you know, too much of a debate debate in my mind. But if you guys have a different opinion, feel free to let me know. I'm always happy to, you know, see other perspectives. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. All right, that's going to be the video once we finish out this run or finish out this turn. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video... Um, then, oh, what did I just say again? I'm getting too excited about this unit. Hold on. If you guys are, if you guys um, enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Hold on, let me check this defense. Okay, 448 right now with the single support. Yeah, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely 
hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content okay i gotta do this don't gonna attack hold up got gotta get this done okay uh one two three four five six got it boom easy all right so uh while boo's doing his thing right uh we're gonna be out of here guys thank you so much for watching once again Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go check out the LR Super Vegeta Showcase. And uh, I'll be back with more content very, very soon. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.